Ever wondered about a place where time begins? A place that's the first to greet the new day? Nestled in the vast expanse of the Pacific Ocean lies an enigma, a place where the calendar flips before anywhere else on Earth. It's a land that dances to its own unique rhythm, a rhythm set by the ebb and flow of the sea around it. With its remarkable geography and time zone, this place promises a journey like no other. Welcome to the journey through the fascinating island nation of Kiribati. Imagine being the first to welcome the sun each day. In Kiribati, that's a reality. This Pacific island nation straddles the international dateline, the imaginary line on the earth that separates two consecutive calendar days. That means it's one of the first places on Earth to see the sunrise of a new day. Picture this. While you're tucking yourself into bed, the people of Kiribati are already embracing the light of a brand new day. The international dateline isn't just a geographical curiosity. It's an indicator of time, a line that marks the start of a new day. And because of its unique location, Kiribati is the first to experience that new day. This isn't just a quirk of geography. It's a defining aspect of life in Kiribati, the rhythms of the day, the patterns of life, they're all shaped by this unique relationship with time. The people of Kiribati aren't just living on the edge of the world, they're living on the edge of tomorrow, every single day. In the year 2000 and zero, Kiribati made a decision that further emphasized its unique relationship with time. The country shifted the international dateline to the east, bringing all of its islands into the same day. Before the shift, the line split the country in two, causing confusion and disarray. Imagine having your neighbor living in a different day than you. But now, the people of Kiribati share the same day. They share the same sunrise, they share the same moment. It's a symbol of unity, a testament to the spirit of togetherness that defines this island nation. This is more than just a time zone, it's a way of life. It's a perspective that shapes how the people of Kiribati see the world and their place in it. It's a reminder of the power of time, of the beauty of a new day, and of the unity that comes from sharing a common experience. In Kiribati, tomorrow happens today. It's a sentiment that captures not just the unique geographical location of this island nation, but also the spirit and essence of its people. It's a way of life that's as unique and captivating as the sunrise that greets them each day. In Kiribati, land and sea share an intimate relationship. This island nation, straddling the equator in the vast Pacific Ocean, is a dreamscape of turquoise lagoons, pristine beaches, and glittering atolls. A land where the water doesn't just lap at the shore, it intertwines with daily life, shaping the culture, traditions, and the very soul of the people. Kiribati's geography is a breathtaking spectacle. Imagine 33 coral atolls, like jewels scattered across the ocean, each one an oasis of tropical beauty, the beaches with their sun-kissed sands are a sight to behold. But it's not just about the beaches. The beautiful lagoons with their crystal clear waters are teeming with an abundance of marine life. From the vibrant coral reefs, home to a myriad of colorful fish, to the friendly dolphins that frolic in the surf, the waters of Kiribati are a marine paradise. But water here is more than just a spectacle of beauty. It's a lifeline. The people of Kiribati have a deep-rooted connection with the sea. It's not just a vast expanse of blue, but a source of sustenance. The sea is bountiful, providing the islanders with an array of seafood, from the humble sardine to the mighty tuna. Fishing isn't just an industry here, it's a way of life. The people of Kiribati have been expert fishermen for generations, their skills honed by the rhythmic ebb and flow of the tides. The culture of Kiribati is profoundly influenced by the sea. From the ancient seafaring traditions to the modern-day love of water sports, the people of Kiribati have a deep respect for the ocean. Their songs tell tales of brave fishermen and bountiful catches. Their dances mimic the movement of the waves, and their art reflects the rich marine life that surrounds them. Kiribati, where the sea is not just a view, but a way of life. Culture in Kiribati is as vibrant as its tropical surroundings. If there's one thing that the I Kiribati, the people of Kiribati are known for, it's their deep-rooted and compelling cultural heritage. This heritage is a vibrant tapestry woven with threads of traditional dance, music, and crafts, all of which paint a vivid picture of the island nation's past and present. Let's start with the dance. The Kiribati dance, known as the tabuki, is not just a dance, it's a storytelling medium. The rhythmic movements and expressive gestures tell tales of love, war, and social customs. It's a dance that echoes the heartbeat of the island, each beat carrying an age-old story, each movement a piece of history. 
The music of Kiribati, on the other hand, is a harmonious blend of traditional and modern influences. The sounds of the tebino, a local guitar, and the tekani, a traditional drum, resonate through the air, providing the perfect accompaniment to the island's daily life. Now let's talk about the crafts. From ornate shell jewelry to intricate mats woven from pandanus leaves, the craftsmanship of the Ai Kiribati is nothing short of impressive. Each piece is a testament to the skill, patience, and creativity of the local artisans. The local language, Tete Taini Kiribati, is a soft, melodic tongue that's as warm and welcoming as the island's inhabitants. It's a language that's sung more than spoken, a language that carries the essence of the island's spirit. And who could forget the cuisine? The traditional Kiribati fare is a delightful medley of fresh seafood, tropical fruits, and root vegetables. It's a cuisine that's as diverse and vibrant as the island itself, a cuisine that's a celebration of the island's bounty. Customs in Kiribati are deeply rooted in community and respect. From the traditional Te Mwaniaba, or community meeting house, to the Teboti, a ceremony marking a rite of passage, every custom is a celebration of unity and shared values. In Kiribati, tradition and modernity dance to the rhythm of the waves. But Kiribati is not just about the past and present, it's a nation facing a unique future. As we journey further into the heart of this island nation, we come face to face with a reality that is both stark and startling, the menace of climate change. The vast Pacific Ocean, once the lifeblood of Kiribati, now threatens its very existence. Rising sea levels, a consequence of our warming planet, pose an imminent threat to these low-lying atolls. Yet the story of Kiribati is not one of despair, but of resilience. It's a tale of a people who, despite the mounting odds, refuse to surrender to the tides. The people of Kiribati are not just surviving, they are innovating, adapting, and fighting back. Their resilience is seen in the construction of seawalls, the pursuit of sustainable fishing practices, and the protection of their precious freshwater sources. They are also exploring bold solutions like the potential relocation of their populace to higher grounds, even to different countries. But it's not just about physical adaptations. There's a deep, spiritual resilience that runs through the veins of every I Kiribati, an unshakable belief that their land, their culture, and their way of life will endure. It's this spirit that fuels their fight against climate change, their determination to protect their home for the generations to come. Kiribati is a testament to the power of the human spirit in the face of adversity. It's a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience, and a reminder to the world of the urgent need for climate action. The story of Kiribati is not just a story about a far-off island nation. It's a story about us, about humanity, and about the future that we all share. The challenges are daunting, the future uncertain, but the resolve of the people of Kiribati is unyielding. They are ready to face whatever the future holds, to adapt, to evolve, and to continue their journey no matter where it leads them. In Kiribati, every sunrise is a testament to resilience and hope. Our journey through Kiribati has been a voyage through time, culture, and resilience. We've wandered through a land that dances with time itself, explored stunning landscapes where water and earth embrace, and indulged in the rich tapestry of Kiribati culture. We've also confronted the challenges that loom in the horizon for this island nation. As we say goodbye to Kiribati, we're reminded that every sunrise brings a new day, and in Kiribati, they're always the first to greet it.